Gawiting their flits. It is I, gatekeeper. I'm afraid you've caught the doctor and I in quite a scenario that we'd rather not be in. To help you better understand our predicament, I'll take you back a couple of days. The doctor thought that he'd finally done it, that we'd return to the WC-616 reality. It was so good to be able to see the gateway to the multiverse again in the flesh, but we soon discovered that things were not quite what they seemed. We realized that it was nothing more than an empty void. And that doctor, he, he started to go crazy. He was complaining about things then, and, and I couldn't quite console him. And that's when they first started to appear. Outside of the window of this building in this reality, the monsters, they appeared. Doctors are evil, dude. Doctor. Doctor. That's where we are now, trapped inside this crazy reality. The doctor is going mad with worry, and I've never seen him like this before. All he does, he sits and rocks back and forth all day long, whilst so those things outside taunt us. So After a few days, I went to the doctor, and what I saw horrified me in ways that I've never been horrified before. I don't know what happened to him when I went closer and he turned round. Well, it started by his left eye, the spiral. That's when I realized that the words he'd been chanting was spiral, spiral, spiral. His face changed quickly. And then, all of a sudden, it seemed like he disappeared, leaving nothing but a small hallway. For some reason, it seemed like it would fit possibly my head, but at the same time, that was an impossibility because my, my body would be too big. And then... My mouth. It came out of my mouth like a slug. At first I didn't quite know what was happening, but it seemed the larger it became, the smaller my body became. Until there was nothing left, and I was practically a snail. Only then did I realize that I'd be able to fit into the hole left by the doctor. So I began to crawl, not knowing what I would find. I crawled, and I crawled, deeper and deeper into the tunnel, and there they were, all together stitched in some large, crazy mosaic with what looked to be fishing wire. It was this week's new comic book releases. I wanted to look at them so badly, but in this snail form, I could do nothing but slither and be slimies. And then, it started to happen. I felt myself pulling away from the shell that used to be my head and uh, no body started to appear and it was like I was being reborn into somebody new. where I find myself now. But now that I've found this week's comic book releases, let's take a look. Up first from DC Comics, we have Batman 89. Step back into the Gotham of Tim Burton's seminal classic Batman movies. Gotham becomes torn in two as citizens dressed as Batman and the Joker juke it out on the streets. As D.A. Harvey Dent tries to keep the city together, he targets the one problem tearing it apart. Batman! And he'll get Bruce Wayne's help in tracking down the Dark Knight. Up next, from Marvel Comics, we have Defenders. When existence itself faces extraordinary threats, it needs an extraordinary defense. That's when you need to call the Defenders. 
Doctor Strange and the Mast Rider take a non-team of Marvel's weirdest, wildest heroes on a mission that will uncover the hidden architecture of reality itself. This cosmos was not the first to exist, but if the Defenders can track down Marvel's oldest villain through the deepest trenches of time, it might be the last. Moving back to DC Comics, we have Pennyworth. Spanning the years between the hit TV show and today, Pennyworth tells the continuing adventures of Alfred Pennyworth as a MI6 counterintelligence agent, this time in the Cold War era Soviet Russia, when Alfred and his partner receive intelligence that nuclear weapons are being manufactured near the Arctic Circle, they are off to infiltrate the remote military base to learn more, but things don't go exactly as planned, and the ramifications of this mission may be more far-reaching than anyone could have guessed, as our present-day butler gets dragged back into his past. And now with DC's milestone imprint, we have Hardware, Season 1. Curtis Metcalf was the brightest shining star of Alva Industries, a brilliant scientist mentored by Edwin Alva since childhood, until the failures of Alva technology at the Big Bang disaster threatened to destroy the company and Alva needed a scapegoat. Now Curtis is on the run from the Dakota Police Department, but a man is smart and as paranoid as Curtis, takes precautions. With a nearly indestructible suit of armor and the remarkable inventions that he never handed over to Alva, Curtis stands determined to do much more than clear his name. He is going to take the fight back to Alva himself. Prepare to read a legendary new chapter in the story of the Milestones universe most complicated man. Is a better world on his mind or just a world built for him? And now over at Dark Horse Comics, it's the unbelievable Unteens. After signing at a comic book convention, unbelievable Unteens artist Jane Ito finds herself visited by one of the characters from her own creation. But was it her own creation? Were the Unteens an actual school of teenage misfit heroes who battled supervillains under the lead of the mysterious Dr. Miles Moniker? And if so, who wiped their memories and why? As Jane's world is turned upside down and she learns the true nature of her identity, she discovers a sinister plot leading her to assemble a team she had suspected were purely fictional. But now, to Marvel Comics, Avengers, tech on. When the Red Skull wields a strange new power that strips heroes of their powers and threatens the entire world, the Avengers turn to Tony Stark's experimental new technology to save us all. Here comes the Iron Avengers, Avengers Tech Arm, sleek, high-tech power suits bristling with energy and amped up power attacks, face off against supervillains and hands to match. It's mechs and mayhem in the Marvel Mighty Manor. Avengers Tech On is a Sentai-inspired action-adventure series produced in partnership with Bandai Namco of Japan. And now, with Dynamite Comics, we have KISS, Phantom Obsession. Darius Chow is the richest man in existence and the most reclusive. To many, he's a ghost, a phantom. Whilst others believe he doesn't exist and is actually a front for a maze of companies and consortiums, the truth is, he does exist, and he's a KISS fan. KISS are hired by Chow to play a private party, and from there, Chow's obsession takes center stage, and it's the fight of the band's life. Staying with Dynamite Comics, we have Elvira meets Vincent Price. Elvira hits back, with her most historic and greatest co-star ever. The ghost of Vincent Price is a spirit with a mission and only the Mistress of Dark can help. The apocalypse is coming and it's going to be live streamed for binge watching, but a long lost movie can save the world if only the movie star Spectre and the horror hostess with the mostess can find it in time. Thrills and chills and all sorts of terrible puns are due in this new series. And now with Scout Comics, we don't kill spiders. 
In the early Viking Age, a faithless Norseman detective is summoned to a Scandinavian hamlet where a series of murders have occurred. Discovering the dark and bloody history of the village, he investigates the local outcast, a necromantic witch who brings his aesthetic values into question. Determined to prevent further homicides, the two band together to discover the identity of the serial killer. And finally, from Keen Spot, it's Fortnite vs Minecraft, the crappiest idea yet. The player creators of the hit game Minecraft have uncovered a secret so horrible it could stain everybody's underwear. Teaming up with the best Fortnite has to offer, a quest begins that will forever change everyone's lives. Or until mum tells us to stop playing. Comedy will ensue. Well, Earthlet, it looks like that's all there is for this week. So, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, like us on the social medias at wakeycomics616. I suppose that until next week, that's all there is. So, until we meet again. What was that? Doctor, Doctor Run Evil Dude, is that you? <laughs> Doctor, what are you doing? You're, you're spiraling up into the sky. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah.